good morning students you welcome in the youtube channel of government college chabra in the series of the lectures on literary terms today we will discuss about some more literary terms so let's start today i want to start the lecture with the, the term advanced pronunciation as the name pronunciation shows that this term is related to linguistics in linguistics john lgo defines this as an early instance of a historical sound change in the progress this early adop adoption of a new pronunciation is the opposite of retarded pronunciation in which an older pronunciation lingers in a dialect even after a newer pronunciation appears in other regions further adventure novel it's a very important genre of english literature and it is one of the latest genres of english literature so let's know what is an adventure literary novel any novel when it's exciting events and fast paced actions are more important than character development theme or symbolism examples include alexander dumas the count of monte cristo the three musketeers as rider hagards king solomon's mines and that guard rice baros tarzan of the apes a e s c also is spelled as a s h in anglo saxon a letter in the old norse runic alphabet indicating the sound i as in the word eight a e s c lends its name to the letter i commonly used in anglo saxon manuscript asophic language in russian criticism the name of a positional political writing hidden in circum location pebbles and vague references so that it can bypass official censorship hawkins first the term refers to asophs pebula a collection of beast pebbles into which simple stories about animals content morals or messages between the lines so to speak the coinage of the term comes from celticov who is both the first to use the term in the sense and the one to whom many modern russian critics consider the best example of such writings aesthetic distance an effect of tone diction and presentation in poetry creating a sense of an experience removed from irrelevant or accidental events this sense of intentional focus seems intentionally organized or framed by events in the poem so that it can to be more fully understood by quiet contemplation typically the reader is less emotionally involved or impatient reacting to the material in a calmer manner aestheticism there are so many interpretations of this term 
in general any literary moment that encourages a critical or artistic focus on the experience of beauty rather than focuses on didactic messages or seeking truth secondly more specifically a victorian literary movement in the 19th century spearheaded by water walter peter peter believed the goal of art was to make those experiencing it to live their lives more intensely and increase the pursuit of the beauty so there are two meanings a general meaning and a specific interpretation of the term in general a literary movement increases critical or aesthetic focus on the experience of beauty rather than focus on didactic message of seeking the truth specifically a victorian literary movement in the 19th century is peer headed by walter patter Peter believed that the goal of art was to make those experiencing it live their lives more intensely and increase the pursuit of beauty. A pix. James L. G. O. defines an a pix as a morpheme added to a bass or a stem to modify its meaning. James Elgio, a linguistics define, linguist, defines an affix as a morpheme added to the base or stem to modify its meaning. If an affix attaches to the beginning of a stem or base word, the affix is called a prefix. If an affix is attached to the end of a stem, the affix is called a suffix from old english modern english speakers gain to prefixes like un unlike undo unappreciate from latin to begin prefixes like re redo replay reactivate from old english we gain suffixes such as dumb kingdom freedom from latin begin suffixes such as esiant beautician mortician and orium postorium it is a baptist personage from greek esian begin the popular verb ending eyes criticize harmonize pasteurize event neologism like finalize next term is related to affix which is affixation making word by adding an affix to a previously existing base word or stem for instance the affix ly can be added to the base word or stem quick to create the word quickly this process is a fixation see also a fix this contrast with the declension applicative this is also related to linguistics a sound stop with a fricative release applicative means a sound stop with a fricative release a fricative involves a stop plus a movement through a fricative position a gesta the blade of the tongue initially moves up in the position of a stop but then move to the through a fricative or spirant position rather than remaining in the stop position the applicatives include two different sounds the first sound is found in judge 
Jame, Soldier, Spinach. The second applicative sound is that sound found in Church, Butcher, Itch, Nige, Salo, etc. Apro Asiatic. A family of languages separate from Indo European languages. So, this is a family of languages which is separate from Indo European languages. The two main branches of Apro Asiatic are Hamitic and Semitic. So, there are two branches of Apro Asiatic language family. First is Hamitic and second is Semitic. Other examples of non Indo European languages can't be found elsewhere on elsewhere in the world. Aglu agglutinative 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 the spelling is a c g l u t i n a t i v agglutinative 